All right, good evening, everybody. Uh, this is Steve coming back at you, aka Dreaming Crow, and I am going to be doing another uh, book review today. Uh, this book I've had for a um, number of weeks, and uh, I've uh, more or less read it actually uh, a little bit here and there and finally finished it as of yesterday uh, so I thought I'd get a review out on it um, there is going to be a continuation to this uh, video um, concerning the book and I'll get to that in just a little bit um, in the video uh, as I move along here but uh, before we get into that book review, folks, uh, I do appreciate you if you've subscribed to my channel. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button down below. And also hit that like button. Please share my videos with anybody um, that you'd like to, especially any other uh, magical groups or orders or anything like that you may belong to. Um, we are all here to assist each other and uh in, in everyone's growth and development and everybody moves at their own pace and there's no reason why uh, information should be coveted by anybody or any one group so uh, i always look forward to sharing and um not only my experiences but um you know end up meeting new people as well uh, especially in the magical community uh, so today's uh, book review is actually going to be uh, The Art of Black Mirror Scrying by Rosemary Ellen Gouillet. Uh, I hope I didn't butcher that last name there. Okay, here's the book. <clears throat> uh, this book was published in 2014 uh, by Visionary Living Incorporated and uh which is in new milford connecticut and the book consists of about 161 pages um the author uh rosemary ellen Gouillet, is a leading expert on paranormal metaphysical and spiritual fields and has authored over 50 books on topics such as uh, spirit communication paranormal investigation uh, dreams, intuitive and psychic development, uh, entity contact, angels, and a variety of other subjects. She also conducts workshops in black mirror scrying, dream work, uh, psychic development, and other topics. And is often the guest on radio shows such as Coast to Coast AM and other radio programs. And if you'd like to get in contact with her or get uh, to her website it is www.visionaryliving.com uh, so the uh, basically the book gives the reader a very detailed blueprint for not only uh, working with a black mirror but it also covers uh, black mirror scrying as well as just general scrying really over the centuries uh, it helps uh, teaches you how to make contact um, with the dead, which is primarily what the Black Mirror was used for at one point or another. Um, but over the years, uh, it has provided um, other practical applications. Okay, so the um, these uh, additional practical applications include uh, things such as spiritual growth, uh, which are most important. Um, however, uh, the book also also teaches you how to make a black mirror for your own personal use um, should you choose to do so. I know some people, they prefer to like to buy one, um, but, uh, you know, I personally would uh, will, will be making one, and again, I'll be getting that uh, very shortly here. Um, Mirror gazing uh, in initiates a process that continues to unfold uh, in the stimulation of significant and lucid dreams um, and uh, scrying. And so these uh, flashes of intuition, inspiration, and synchronicity uh, off, uh, have uh, meaningful coincidences that can often lead to uh, turning points in our lives. And the journey often begins in the mind, and from that we can uh, transport ourselves anywhere. 
uh, particularly with Black Mirror Scrying, okay? Uh, the Black Mirror opens us up to um, amazing locations and vistas that we might not otherwise be aware of or have visited for whatever reason, uh, whether that be astral projection or anything like that. Um, However, uh, while you may have a uh, full intuition, uh, intention of using the mirror to make contact with, say, like a deceased relative, however, uh, there are times that you may end up wind up seeing other visions, say visions of the future or the past or anything like that, or you know, make contact with uh, particular beings, angels, demonic entities, um, even extraterrestrial uh, forces have, as some have claimed to have done with black mirrors. Um, the important thing to realize though is that when you're using the black mirror and you're scrying with it, um, regardless of what you see and sometimes what your intentions are, the most important part is that the mirror will always deliver what you need to see at the time, not what you want to see at the time. Okay. And uh, there will be times that the scrying session may yield nothing at all. However, uh, later on that night, or perhaps in the next day or two, you may uh, very well experience a uh, very lucid or vivid dreaming at that point, which may have great uh, significance and great importance to a uh, prior scrying session that you had completed um, either that day or, or within the last few days. Uh, in earlier times, uh, the task of divination, of course, was carried out by uh, priests, and these visions were interpreted for their clients, usually being wealthy individuals and heads of state. However, between the uh, 18th and 19th centuries, divination often moved from the priests, actually they did move from the priests, and um, other magically empowered individuals into uh, the mainstream population, uh, which is um, when most anyone with any basic psychic training at that point could use any type of divinatory aid um, and tools, including black mirror. So, you know, that any divinatory tool being uh, cards. Um, again, mirrors, uh, swords are often used sometimes, spearheads, uh, any type of reflective surface, uh, water bowls, stuff like that. So uh, that's, that's what we're touching on in base there. Um, today the black scrying mirrors are used for much more than simply contacting um, relatives and spirits of the dead. They can be used for uh, remote viewing or distant location and people. Uh, can be used to uh, look into the past, present, and future, look into the afterlife, uh, conduct dream work, um, conduct and view uh, past life um, regression as, as well as learning of past lives, and even uh, are used to contact spiritual beings such as angels and demons, demons particularly through uh, magical evocation, uh, if you're into demonology. And again, as I said, some have even claimed to have made contact with extraterrestrial beings uh, through the use of the black scrying mirror. Uh, the author does give the reader a great amount of history on the use of the black mirror, its development, and, historic, and as well as historical figures that have used uh, black mirrors in the past. For instance, um, Catherine... Uh, Medesis, uh, uh, again, I hope I didn't butcher that last name. Uh, basically, the wife of King Henry II of France was a very enthusiastic uh, occultist at the time, and she often made decisions. Um, however, without first consulting her advisors and her black mirror um, that she had at the time, uh, the Count uh, Count Cagliostro uh, between 1743 and 1795. Uh, was a very flamboyant occultist who often uh, actually built his fame readily on part of his skills with uh, a scrying. And then, of course, we have Nostradamus, Dr. John D., and there's many other historical figures. Uh, those are just a few uh, that are mentioned in the book uh, that used uh, scrying 
successfully, um, you know, within their careers and uh, throughout the centuries. Um, let's see. Uh, the author also does give uh, many of her personal experiences throughout the book, along with testimonies of her past students uh, through some of the workshops that she's conducted. And uh, the reader is also given her information on how to properly care for and store the mirror once obtained, again, should you decide to purchase one instead of make one. Um, and then additionally, the reader is provided with a variety of techniques and exercises that once practice will significantly increase a scryer's abilities to use a mirror. And uh, from time to time, consistent practice uh, with scrying with the scrying tool will also uh, be the most beneficial to increasing the scryer's abilities as well as confidence um, with the scrying tool that they are practicing with. Uh, finally, the reader has taken through necessary steps for making their own black mirror. The author does give suggestions on size, dimensions, um, using different uh, components as well as, you know, in order to, to make the mirror. Um, uh, she does make suggestions on, say, like, you know, instead of purchasing uh, a mirror and... Uh, which I know some people have like actually purchased a mirror, then they like you know scrape off the the plastic or not the plastic, the uh, silver coating, and then they paint it, and that's all uh, a lot of work. Uh, she does make suggestion that hey, you can actually simply just go out and and purchase, say like a picture frame, you know something uh, in a significant size, you know for what you want, and then um, while the glass is a little bit thinner. Uh, concerning picture frames and whatnot, it's still very useful and that can actually be painted over and she does give direction on that in the book on how to do that uh, with the construction of the device and uh, a lot more information as well. So um, with that folks, uh, I'm definitely going to say that this is one book that I am definitely recommending for any serious occultist. Uh, whether you're a right-hand path practitioner or left-hand path practitioner, uh, I know that this book will end up having a permanent place on my bookshelf, um, especially that I'll be referring back to it from time to time. And uh, since I'll be doing another video on a follow-up with this one, if you are a right-hand path or left-hand path practitioner and you or you practice uh, demonology and magical evocation, uh, we know the black mirror is a significant does have a significant place uh, in our practices and knowing how to make a black mirror and use it for our practices is of uh, some importance obviously so um, again I, I will be doing a follow-up on this video where I will be um, walking through the steps on making uh, a black mirror I do have to I uh, get a few items shipped in in order to be able to complete that. But once they come in, uh, I will be uh, doing some of the some of the recording. Uh, whatever recording I can get done at this point, I'll do that. And then as supplies come in, I'll finish the other other parts of the video and then piece it all together there. Um, if you are interested in purchasing, the, purchasing this book, it is available at Amazon.com. There is going to be a description or a link down below. I'm sorry, in the description. If you want to purchase the book, it will take you um, to the purchase page. Simply just click on that link to take you there, and you'll be good to go. Um, this is the first book of hers that I've actually uh, reviewed on my channel up to this point. I do have a couple of other other of her books that I am uh, looking to um, review here in hopefully the next couple weeks, uh, particularly um, dictionary on one dictionary on angels and a dictionary on uh, demons and demonology, and I'll be getting those reviewed here in a couple weeks. Um, Hopefully not too long, too much longer. 
And uh, with that, folks, uh, this is Crow signing off, and I appreciate you coming in and watching the video. Again, hit that subscribe button down below, and leave a comment in the comment section. Hit the like button if you did enjoy this video. And with that, folks, peace and infernal blessings. Take care. Bye.